Are you having a problem hitting the ball into the net? Do you think there's something wrong with your stroke that's causing you to go into the net? You're probably right. I'm Abby at Abby Spears Tennis, and I want to give you two quick fixes today to solve your swing, make sure that the ball goes over the net. The first problem that you could be having with your swing to cause your forehand to go into the net is that your racket face is facing downwards. If you're hitting the ball with the racket face down, it's gonna go down into the net. So to do a quick fix for that, we're gonna just do a shadow swing and you freeze a swing and freeze at the point of impact. So you can check where your racket face is. So if I'm swinging and I'm freezing, I swing and I freeze and my racket face is down, the quick fix is just to turn your wrist to make sure that it's per perpendicular up and down. And then you're just gonna do about 20 swings to get that muscle memory with your wrist in the right position. Another tool that's great to fix this racket face problem with your wrist is the fence or a wall. So we can use the back fence to freeze upon impact and check if the racket face is facing up and down. So swing, freeze, swing, and freeze. And this will give you a good indicator because if you're going down, it'll show you automatically how much you have to correct your wrist. The second problem you could be having with your swing is you could be swinging from high to low. If you do this swing, the ball you're gonna hit is gonna go down into the net or court first before it goes over the net. So to give you a handy tool, you can take a chair, which they're everywhere, or a park bench, and you can rest your racket on the seat of the chair and practice your swing because you want to go low and finish high. This will allow you to get under the ball and hit it over the net. So start with your racket on the chair and practice the swing about 20 times to get that muscle.